10 years of Borkum Rongol. December 31, 2012, was the day a young rapper from Tripura uploaded a music video that has since changed the hip-hop scene of Northeast India. His name was Borkung Rongkal, and that first song he ever put out was called Chini Ha, The Roots, let me take you back to my roots. Chini ha, Chini ha. which went on to feature on MTV, introducing him to us for the first time ever. Borkung or BK as he is better known, wanted his music to be an instrument of change. In an interview with First Pist in 2013, he talked about the direction and vision he had for his music. I always was attracted towards rap because of the way you can tell a story with it through rhymes and rhythm, it's basically poetry. You can say anything on the face. You can be very direct with rap, he says. As the son of a politician, he was very much aware of the issues faced by his own people in particular, and the entire Northeast in general, so he chose to start off talking about his roots, as evident from the title of his first song. Being a kid, I always saw my dad working so hard for the welfare of the people of Tripura to preserve their rights. I got inspired through that, and once I found that I could write my own songs and rhymes, I thought this was the best way to express he adds. Having graduated from Delhi University, BK had also known the ugly side of life that northeastern people had to face in mainland cities. He was once stabbed by some thugs while crossing a park, mistaking him for a Nepalese national. Talking about the prevalence of such racism at that time, he said that it was all due to miscommunication, it's nobody's fault, we just have to bridge the gap, and once people know about the northeast more they'll accept it more readily. This gap is something we need to fill up. In that interview, BK cited Eminem, Fort Minor and Fat Joe as his influences. While he may not have yet reached the heights of those hip-hop legends, BK have definitely established himself as a rapper that can hold his own in the emerging Indian hip-hop scene. His lyrical abilities and his on-the-spot freestyle rhymes are highly acclaimed by critics and fans altogether. He has been awarded the Vima Asia Award, and he has been performing all over the country at well-known music festivals like NH7 Shillong. 2015, and NH7 Pune, 2016. He was also the opening act for Hubastink, Shillong, 2013, Zero Music Festival 2015, etc. to name a few. He also hosted for Project Aloft Star Amplified My MTV Asia, with band views for India and see Bangkok, Singapore Malaysia. He has also worked with brands like Reebok Classic, Nissan, Honda and more. He helped to bring forth an explosion of hip-hop resurgence in 2020 through his lyrical beef with Kni, another Northeast rapper from Mezoram. Their superb back and forth rhymes attracted a lot of attention, with many other Northeast rappers like Moko Koza and Yohomi weighing in on to who represented Northeast the best. They had the entire region hooked on to YouTube waiting for the next diss or the next reply. Having passed 10 years since his first music video came out, BK is still very much in the mix, having collaborated with Moko Koza recently for a song titled 8. Despite his experiments with different styles and flows, his core aim to represent Northeast India in the hip-hop scene continues to this day. In an industry that doesn't pay much in terms of a career, artists like BK are doing social service with their music. They are probably the only ones who can transcend the various boundaries of such a diverse region, telling us as it is, while making our heads bob to the catchy punch lines. Although hip-hop has long been here through pioneers like Michael M. Solo, BK has definitely taken it a few notches higher, as he so beautifully stated in his song, The Journey. The journey goes on till I make it. The journey goes on till I make it. Borkung Rongal has done enough. Let's put some respect on his name.